to Javelin Box with me, Tanya. And as promised tonight, I'm making fried rice. <laughs> and actually, tonight's the absolute perfect night for me to make in this dish because I am so tired. Uh, yeah, extremely tired. I got home from work and all I wanted to do was crawl into bed. So I'm very much looking forward to bed tonight. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but this is why this recipe is, is so good. It's really quick, really simple, um, incredibly versatile and absolutely perfect for the caravan. Really perfect. Um, and you can put whatever you like in it. Um, my, my biggest tip is when you're making a fried rice, um, never use fresh rice that you've just made. It comes out a bit gloopy. It's never as good. It's never that texture that you want egg fried rice to be. Um, so if you've cooked up a batch of rice the previous evening, um, by all means use that rice. So as soon as you finish cooking and you've dished up and you realise you've got loads left over, which I often do, um, decant it into a pot and pop it straight away into the fridge. As long as you do it straight away then, then the rice is perfectly safe. Um, alternatively, Microwave rice is absolutely perfect. Um, it works really, really well as a fried rice option. Um, and this is what makes it brilliant for the caravan because that's really easy to pack. And it's the perfect amount for the two of us. And I'm just squidging it all now because what you don't want is for clumps of the rice to be clumping together. You want it to be all nice and separated. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, so fried rice is really simple. Um, you can either use a wok or a frying pan. In, in the caravan, I'd use a frying pan because I'm not traipsing around with a wok. But at home, I've got my little wok here. Uh, if I had more space in the caravan, I'd, I'd have a wok. So if you've got space in yours, then by all means take a wok because woks are immense, immensely useful for all sorts of things. Um, but yeah, at tonight's version, as ever, uh, I'm going to be using my favourite sausages, um, mushrooms, onions, eggs so, so basically i'm turning this into an all-day breakfast fried rice because that's what i like but you can put anything in fried rice any chopped vegetables that you want any meats or prawns or seafood anything that you want to put in and the the process is always the same so it, it it's very very simple um i do have one thing that always or two things that always go in my fried rice one is soy sauce and the other is that I use sesame oil because that really brings out a beautiful flavour in the rice. But yeah, let's crack on. Before I do anything, the first thing I'm going to do is pop my sausages into the wok and fry them up because I do want them pre-cooked before I add them to the rice. And whilst they're frying, I can get the chopping of the onions, spring onions and mushrooms. Um, actually, I can't be bothered to chop onions tonight. My eyes are too tired. So uh, I'm gonna use frozen diced onions. But in the caravan, I would use fresh onion and just chop that up and dice it. Um, but yes, I shall crack on with the chopping of the mushrooms and the spring onions so that I've got all of my vegetables prepared. Uh, but in the meantime, the sausages can be cooking and whatever meat you want to use, if you use that principle of pre-cooking the meat before you set to making the actual rice, it does make it a lot easier. Once the sausages are cooked, pop them to one side 
add a little bit more oil and at this stage it's just olive oil and that will heat through nicely and then you can add the onions and the mushrooms Once that rice is nicely cooking, you've added the soy sauce, it's all turned into a lovely brown colour, you can add your sausages. And just for the hell of it today, I'm going to add peas as well. to move the rice all over to one side which gives me the other half to cook the eggs in because personally I like it as a bit of an omelette with whole chunks of egg mixed in with the rice rather than just all gloopy mess. I like to have actual bits of rice. So if you allow them to cook to the side and then fold it all in, it makes it a lot better. So at this point is when you want to add the sesame oil as well. Now sesame oil is not a cooking oil, it's a finishing oil. The drizzle, drizzle probably around about a tablespoon through and mix that through. And it really does enhance the flavours. That's proper comfort food. For me, a fried rice is ideal for using up your leftover veg, your leftover rice, if you have any. And you can literally put anything in it and it tastes great. But it's wonderful bowl food. Like pop it into a bowl with a fork to eat in front of the telly on a lazy evening. Pop a ten? Mm -hmm. 
Or video 10? Video 10. So what's the proper 10 then? 